the NSCC podcast. Know the corruption. Know the truth. Welcome to the NSCC podcast, Know the Corruption, Know the Truth. In today's episode we invited you to know about Bribe, a disaster, both giver and receiver are wrong. Not sure how much we understand the word bribery. Actually, the word bribery is a simple word. But do you believe that it has a huge impact on Thai society? Eh? It is along STEMEDST and RWORD, but it has caused damage to the country for many years. That is right. Today, if we say that bribery is a disaster, it is not wrong at all. Moreover, both giver and receiver of bribe are guilty. Are you ready to learn about this words? If you are ready, let's go. We should start with the word bribery, which means property, money, or other benefits given to government officials or other persons to induce them to act or refrain from acting in their duties. This kind of action is considered to be against the law and good governance. It is an action that helps with corruption. Bribery is therefore wrong. We have examples of bribery that will help everyone understand the meaning of this word more. Such as bribing government officials to approve projects. Causing the government to pay many times more than it should have. This is considered direct corruption. It is a significant obstacle to national development. Personally, I am stuck on the word obstacle to national development. How should we interpret it? To put it simply, bribery is the factor that hinders progress, creates injustice, and undermines the public's faith in the government. Oh, I understand. For those who are wondering how many types of bribes there are and what are they, the truth is that bribes come in many forms. Commonly found items such as cash, valuables, entertainment, travel, discounts, services, entertainment, employment, or business partnerships are also considered bribes. Having listened to this, let's think about what would happen to Thailand if we use bribes as a tool for corruption in every sector of Thai society. Wow. This will definitely be ruined. Our country will definitely be ruined. Most importantly, I want everyone to know that bribery is a common corruption problem in Thailand. Part of it occurs in corruption between the government and business sectors in procurements where there is no real competition and the process is not transparent. In addition, the offense of bribery is also the starting point of many corruption cases. What do you notice? Let's look at the news that is often a hot topic in society. Related to bribery of government officials that we see from time to time. That's right when the truth is exposed in the media, society will rise up every time. It can be said that the news is on fire in our country. But when there is news and damage, we don't want everyone to feel that when the matter is quiet, everything is quiet too. At least we want Thai society and Thai people to be aware of the extent of the damage that follows. That's right because this bribery problem causes damage completely destroying transparency and good governance. Bribery creates loopholes, leading to government officials abusing their power by favoring those who give bribes. The public does not receive quality services. Bribery is also an obstacle to investment. As a result, investors lose confidence, which affects the economy. Everyone now that you've gotten to know and understand the overall picture of the word, 
Bribe, don't be discouraged and lose faith. If Thai society has to fall into a cycle of corruption because bribery is the cause. When there is a cause, there must be an effect. Leading to serious law enforcement to deal with the bribery problem. After listening, I immediately feel hopeful. I think this is one way to solve the bribery problem. Most importantly, the relevant officials must be strict, serious, and severely punish both the giver and the receiver of the bribe. It's time to fill us with hope to see a way to eliminate bribes from Thai society. Let's look at the punishment for the recipient of the bribe. 16, 2000, Characteristics of the Variety 561 Section 173 Any government official, foreign government official, or official of an international organization who improperly demands, accepts, or agrees to accept property or other benefits for himself or another person, in order to act or refrain from acting in any way in his position, whether such action is proper or improper, shall be punished with imprisonment of 5 to 20 years or life imprisonment, and a fine of 100,000 to 400,000 baht. Section 174 Any government official, foreign government official, or official of an international organization who acts or refrains from acting in any way, in his position in order to gain property or other benefits that he has demanded, accepted, or agreed to accept before he was appointed to that, Position shall be punished with imprisonment of 5 to 20 years or life imprisonment and fined from 100,000 to 400,000 baht. The penalty for the giver of a bribe. According to the Organic Act on the Prevention and Suppression of Corruption Biyati, 2561, is as follows. Section 176 Whoever gives requests or accepts to give property or other benefits to a government official, a foreign government official or an official of an international organization in order to induce them to act, refrain from acting or delay acting in a manner inconsistent with their duties shall be liable to imprisonment not exceeding five years or a fine not exceeding 100,000 baht or both. In the case where the offender under paragraph 1 is a person related to any juristic person and acts for the benefit of that juristic person, and such juristic person does not have appropriate internal control measures to prevent such offense, such juristic person is guilty under this section and shall be liable to a fine of not less than one but not more than two times the amount of damages incurred or benefits received. Awesome hearing this makes me feel good immediately. And certainly. The approach to solving the bribery problem requires cooperation from all sectors as well. It must be implemented intensively and seriously. Government agencies must also promote transparency and good governance. Such as disclosing information that can be verified. The private sector must be aware of the harmful effects of bribes. Refuse to give them and have a mechanism to prevent personnel from giving bribes. As for the public sector, they must be alert and have a sense of common sense in the right and proper way to join the campaign against bribery. We believe that you too can play a part in solving the problem of bribery and eliminate it from Thai society. Whether it be through reporting clues or checking the performance of the government sector. Just by starting, you are helping to create a Thai society free from bribery so that the country can progress and be sustainable in the future. Honest, fair, professional, transparent, and verifiable. Office of the National Anti-Corruption Commission